it denied. It was the second time in two weeks the council met on the subject. Kristen Salumi has more from the United Nations. Russia called the meeting to present what it described as new evidence. A U.S.-supported biological research laboratory in the Ukraine posed a threat to the region. Put simply, the Ukrainian authorities gave the Pentagon carte blanche on the territory of Ukraine to carry out dangerous biological experiments there. This is not the noble assistance to Ukraine that the American representatives talk about. This is a cynical use of its territory and population for dangerous research, which Washington does not carry out on its own territory, so it doesn't run the risk of hurting its own people. The U.S. denies any chemical weapons programs exist. It is Russia that has long maintained a biological weapons program in violation of international law. It is Russia that has a well-documented history of using chemical weapons. It is Russia who is the aggressor here. The United States also warned that Russia may very well be planning its own chemical weapons attack, using a false flag allegation to justify it. It was the second time in two weeks that the Security Council met on the subject at Russia's request. The UN's High Representative for Disarmament said they had no evidence of chemical or biological weapons. But she also conceded that the United Nations currently has neither the mandate nor the technical or operational capacity to investigate this in information. I asked the United Kingdom's ambassador if that undermines their argument. If there is a genuine concern, the right thing to do would be to seal off the site have a ceasefire, seal off the site, and then allow experts in to investigate. It is not the right thing to do to bring spurious claims to the UN Security Council, which are debunked by everyone there. Countries like China and Brazil called for just such an independent investigation under the Biological Weapons Convention, which prohibits their use. Meantime, daily attacks continue to batter Ukraine, many of them indiscriminate, according to the United Nations, causing damage to civilian infrastructure and mounting casualties. Kristen